this is probably the most out there garden room that we've ever built. It's basically really, really tight garden. And what we've done is we've built a, um, a reading snug for the lady who was sort of a member of a reading club and she wanted a bit of um, a sort of a room in a garden she could go out to. We've done it with stained glass windows and we've sort of had to build it on like um, a sort of a weird shape and everything. I say weird shape, it's not square. We've had to build it just literally to fit in this random corner. It's super tight, the boys are like this between the walls. Um, if I take you up and have a look now, we've got about a day left on this job. But if you if you follow me up now, I'll show you around it, and then you can get a bit of bit of a better idea. So as I said a minute ago, the garden's really tight, so it's going to be hard to get really good footage. It's really tight to the wall, so we've barely got enough room to fit in there. I say barely enough. We, we've got to choose which member of staff we use to go in there. So um, what we're basically doing, I'll give you a quick run to the project, and then we'll sort of go round it because we won't both fit at the same time. So what we've done is we've got a full normal garden room built. We've got a black ash soffit and fascia, rubber roof on top as always. Uh, for those who don't know, it's basically, it's a giant piece of rubber that uh, glue it down, you wrap it over and then it can never leak basically. A white aluminium uh, single door here. This obviously, this wood is obviously gonna be changed with glass, which is gonna be done in the next few days. We've actually gone for lots of stained glass windows. With, with these windows, what actually happened was the customer owns a slightly older house and they were having windows made and basically they had a load of mismeasurements, which basically means the windows turned up and they were the wrong size. So they had to reorder them to fit the customer's house. So we ended up integrating them into, into the project really, but, um, I'll show you what these look like when they're finished. If you want to come on the inside now. Okay, it's going to be a bit dark in here now. Um, we haven't actually got the electric sorted yet, so I can't put the lights on. And obviously, we've still got a pane of wood. I've still got um, a pane of wood in the inside of the glass when the lights in. So what, what, we've, what we're actually doing here, we've got a really odd shape. It's a lot wider on this side than it is than it is by here. So the flooring we're sort of messing with at the moment to get it look really nice. So Aldo down here is fitting a, um, a dark wood a dark wood laminate. Uh, well, we're finishing off the floor today. It's really awkward. You can see the the way it is. Um, yeah, so we'll have a nice fresh white paint on this wall. Got some nice lights in here. Back on this project now, uh, just near the hand post in, in Newport. Um, pretty much, I think it's the hottest day of the year, it's like 32 degrees. So there's some serious sunburn happening today. But um, so what we've done now, we've totally finished this now. The only thing we've got left to do is just put a down pipe on the back, which we'll do in the next hour or so. So what I'm, doing, I'm gonna give you a quick show around now. Uh, the first thing I really want to run through though is the fact that this garden is ridiculously tight. We literally have to choose our slimmest members of staff just to be able to fit in there to build it. So like me, Josh, Seb and stuff couldn't even get in there. So we had to choose who we were going to put on the job because where they could fit to even build it is the guards that tight. But yeah, we can make these to fit absolutely any space. If you follow me through now, I'll give you a quick run through exactly what, what we did. And um, yeah, so have a look. So what we've done, I don't actually know the measurements because what we basically did is build it as big as possible to fit in to fit in the space we're given enough walkway through. So we've gone for, we put a feather edge cladding on the side and on the back, just mainly to make things easier because there wasn't enough room for us to fit in there, like trying to pin the cedar at angles and things. So the feather, feather edge was easier to put on. Um, what we've got, we've got a, um, a black ash, which is like a wood green uh, plastic soft in the fascia. And as always an EPDM rubber roof on the top. What we've done then on the front and on the side, but I'll just take you around there, it's tight because it's hard to even get the camera in here with me. But as we're going around there, we've basically done um, a red cedar tongue groove um, on the front and on the side. What we've done is we've done, as I just said then, we've got premium grade rest western red cedar on the, on two sides, the two visible sides. Um, and obviously as you're gonna notice here, which you don't see in a lot of garden rooms, is these stained glass windows. So um, these look actually really cool on the inside. They put a really good colored light in as well. And we've also put the, 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 ladies, uh, the ladies' plaque on there, Irene's Fairy House. Um, Ryan is just putting a, um, a, let me show me how this set, Ryan. Ryan is just putting a coat of um, Osmo um, 4, 420, which is, most importantly, stops the wood graying and, um, but what it also does is really bring, makes the color pop on the red cedar and brings all the color through on it. If I take you through to the front, so what we've done with all the windows, we've put them really random, because they were all different sizes, we decided not to bother with any with any uniformity. We just literally stood back, said, yep, looks good there. So on the front as well. So we've gone, as a customer requested, a, um, a white aluminium single door. Because we're so tight with space and everything, we wanted the, the stained glass windows, what we did, we just added one giant pane of glass inside the door to flood all the lights in. So as I said, this is a really nice high quality aluminium door with a good 
really good locking, uh, security locking system on it. Particularly inside now. This customer is actually going to finish the interior themselves. So we we plastered it. We put a dark oak flooring down and some skirting boards. And um, yeah, the electrics and um, the painting is going to be finished by the, by the customer on this one. We've got these um, these stained glass windows. What actually happened on this one was the customer was having these um, these stained glass windows in the house, and they all turned up um, incorrect. So nothing to do with us. And then they ordered them again. They were all here, and we decided to add them into the project. So yeah, a lot of our customers they want home offices, they want an extra room in that in the garden, they want um, literally like a summer house type setup. And then I mean gyms, there's the gyms, home cinemas, and then you get people then who just literally have you know they just we make the room to meet their needs. So in this case, this is the first one we've ever done, you know, book club, but. Hopefully, what we'll do is when they furnish this and everything, we'll come back and we'll get an idea of what kind of setup they're going to put in here. So we'll do some drone shots now, and then we'll have a get the front. And so that's it now on this latest build. Totally finished now, as I said, just down pipe to go on, which we're about to do now before we leave. If you're interested in a bespoke garden room to fit any space, any size within planning permission, any style, we, you know, we can build it for you. And as I say, we will always manage the whole project. So we manage base, build, electrics, Wi-Fi, plastering, painting, build, roof. So you literally, if, if you need a decking in front of it, we'll build the decking. If you need a patio in front of it, we, we, we want to manage the whole project around it so it is completely finished. It can manage by us start to finish. So if you like this video, please like and subscribe and don't forget to follow us on all our social media channels and uh, catch you on the next one.